What is up YouTube? My name is Knox. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get your 1001 A plus certification. The first step is your IT with no experience. So let me run this down for you guys. So the first step, I'm going to give you guys actually five steps in what I did to pass. I'm going to show you guys what I did to pass. You really can't see it with that, but I will be getting the camera and I will be getting a microphone to be able to make videos seamlessly. I'll be able to show you guys techniques and how to do it. A little background with me. I only been working at my IT job for about two months and I was able to pass that test. So it's all about the mindset and it's all about studying hard. But I want to tell you guys what you what you need to study so you're not wasting your time. Um, I find that there's so much information, like those books are huge, very huge. And the test had not much stuff on it. And I don't want to point out much things because I did sign a waiver, which I can't give you guys exactly what the questions are. But I can lead you guys to the right people, the right sources like Michael Meyer, uh, Professor Messer, uh, the right practice questions, all that stuff. So you're not just running around. So I'm going to show you guys how to pass the CompTIA 101. One is going to be two things. First thing is to look over the objectives. So you want to know, you want to familiar yourself. I, I would highly recommend you print this out. Highly recommend you print this out and you go through all this. So CompTIA 1001 is on hardware. So it's mobile devices, networking, hardware, virtualization, cloud computing, hardware, and network troubleshooting. I'm gonna leave all this in the link in the description. So you guys are not like just where do I go, where do I go? I'm gonna leave it in the link in the description. The microphone is bad, side note, the microphone is bad. Uh, bear with me, I will be getting the microphone soon. I apologize for that. I want to give you guys some real information, no BS. So after you go ahead and print this out, you want to see, you know, you want to keep highlighting it. I recommend, I recommend two weeks of just getting this, getting used to this. I'm gonna tell you guys the next method. Options and how to buy the exam. So step one is two things. So step one would be scheduling your test and getting the objectives and knowing what the objectives are. So you're going to go ahead and schedule. I'm going to leave this in the link in the description so you'll be able to schedule it just like this. And this is how you can schedule it. You can either buy it here. If you're a student, I only recommend students because students do get a discount. I'm a student. You go to, I'm going to have this in the link in the description. It will be student and it will have the link. All you have to do is show verification that you go to college, any college, and you can get it for $100. I bet a lot of people do not know that. So step one. You go to objectives, which will be in the link in the description. Schedule your exam two months, one month, depending on how you study. You'll be able to get A plus certified within maybe two, four months, depending on how you study. So, step one objectives and schedule your exam. Two would be videos and how to know how to know what software it is, I mean hardware it is, be able to see. They're able to show you the devices and it's it's the best way to do it. So what I recommend is to either watch the paid version of Mike Myers. He shows you briefly and he shows you everything that you need to know. I didn't finish it because I already finished 901's video series, so I wanted to see what 1001 was different. But I just kind of schemed through it. So this is the paid version. I think I paid $20 for this. Uh, course definitely worth it I like Mike Myers for the way he teaches he teaches in a goofy way and he shows good examples but professor Messer is the man is the man it's free course he has and I'm gonna show you step three he has his videos are just straight to the point and I like people that are straight to the point some people need to be some some people learn where people could describe it little by little. I just need straight to the point, show me what I need to do so I can knock that stuff out, straight up. So I recommend you guys just go through all these videos. And when you take notes, don't take notes in uh, how many pins does something need or this and that. Just take notes that you think that, that are gonna be good notes. You don't need to know how many pins are stuffing. Cause I'm gonna be honest, in an actual IT field, the pins and stuff like that. Like when I mean pins is like DDR3, how much pins is that? Which I'm gonna show you guys a good practice test where you don't have to necessarily take 
there's some of the practices I took I have nothing to do on the test, and it kind of strays you away. And in the real IT field, it's not it's not really like that. So, anyways, so that's step two is to watch the videos. You have a free version and you have a paid version. All gonna be in the link in the description. Three would be practice questions. Practice question is very important. I don't care what anybody says, you need to know how to practice the questions. Yeah, um, it's the best way to do it. And I mean, honestly, you need to practice your questions. So after you purchase and schedule the, 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 the test and you have your objectives and you watch the videos, you took really good notes. So it should be a week, week, week. Now it's time to practice the questions. So all this stuff is gonna be linked in the description. So there's exam compass which has practice questions all the way to 22 tests, which all have around range from like 20 questions to 30 to 45 questions. And then it has categories. So it has laptops, mobile devices, network protocols, TCP, UDP pro, uh, uh, port quiz, etc. So it has all this stuff and it also has exam on objectives. So you don't even have to, basically I could just give you the link to that and it will give you the, so you could just have the objectives right there. That's a good one. And you also have Go Certified, which has a bunch of practice questions there. What I recommend for step three is to do as many practice questions as possible. And it would it would knock out the multiple choice questions. Because I noticed no one talks about simulations. I had four simulations. I'm not able to tell you what were on there due to signing the waiver. But I gotta tell you guys, some of these stuff that people buy. It's ridiculous. You don't need to buy all that stuff. I'm gonna tell you guys step four. Four would be getting course notes. It would be going and talking to people that have took the test. And talking, to, the people that have took the test are not gonna tell you exactly what's on it, but it'll tell you what to study. So step four would be Reddit. Reddit is a good source. Reddit is what helped me take my test, especially with the simulation question, because I didn't know what I should study. They didn't tell you exactly what was on the test, but it, did help me pass the test. So talking, talking about it, and knowing what's the right stuff, and studying with another person, or studying with, like with online. Um, Professor Messer has um weekend uh, where he goes over questions. This is really good to do. So I did buy his course notes for 901, and this is also good too. This is the blueprint and how to pass the test. This is also a good way of studying. And you can also um, type in Reddit. So I did uh, PDF notes. You can go to Reddit to get some more information. Um, Professor Messer, also, let me do it live real quick. If you go to Professor Messer, he has, he, if you go over here, upcoming events, he has study groups. So you're able to do study groups. So I recommend step four would be study groups. Just study with a bunch of people. Professor Messer will go ahead and present questions and you'll be able to answer it off your smartphone. And that will be able to help you. That's another way of studying. Step five is before you take the exam. Uh, don't freak out. I freaked out when I took 901. I was literally shaking like this. Literally, it wasn't a big deal. And that tempered with my mindset and made me fail the first time. So I recommend is prepare things before tonight, rest, Wake up, wake up your mind, work out, go drink a bang or something, go do something, drink an energy drink, eat well, sleep well, dress comfortable, eat a smart breakfast, go with your brain. Don't take no practice questions before you go to the exam. That will eliminate your freaking, oof, don't do that. That's all I got to say, guys. So step one is schedule your exam and your objectives. Step two is watch the two videos that I presented for you that will, will work. Step three is practice questions, practice questions, practice questions. Blah, 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 blah. Step four is study groups, Reddit. Those are two big ones. Step five, do not be scared at the exam. Don't overwhelm yourself and look up seven tips. I'm going to leave all the stuff in the link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again.